A USPAP Standard 1 clearly states that an appraiser must be aware of, understand, and correctly employ those recognized methods and techniques that are necessary to produce a credible appraisal. But it does not state what those recognized methods are. But all professions have a body of knowledge. The body of knowledge of the appraisal profession includes the 15th edition of the Appraisal of Real Estate. Here we see a list of adjustment techniques to use in the sales grid. Paired data analysis, commonly called paired sales. Grouped data analysis. Secondary data analysis statistical analysis, and depreciated cost analysis. And for more, here's Scott. Depreciated cost adjustments for bathrooms are based on the cost of a bath at the time of construction. What about a neighborhood of good quality 1930s houses that were built with one bath and have been expanded to two baths? A remodel like that could cost $40,000 and the market shows a sharp distinction for one bath versus two bath houses. The problem you are having is that there are not enough sales to match subject bath count. Solomon Plus solves the problem with sensitivity analysis. Use bath count as the independent variable and adjusted sale price as the dependent variable. Click analysis. The chart shows the relationship between a second bath and market value with a line of best fit. The slope of the line is called the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x, of x is the adjustment rate. In this case, $25,000 for a full bath. A half bath would be $8,000 using adjusted pairs. Up on the left, there are stats that show the goodness of fit. In this case, 96% of the change in market value is due to the change in bath count. Remember, the analysis is only as good as the adjustments you made to get to adjusted sale price. Want to know more? Send Scott an email at scullen2 at comcast.net. That's scullen2 at comcast.net. Schedule a Zoom demo with him at a time that fits your schedule. Scott loves talking with appraisers.